Hey guys, thanks for stopping on in for today's video where we're going to try to get your Roku player or your Roku TV working properly. And we're going to do that by running you through three steps that often fix a lot of Roku issues. So these are going to be resetting your system, making sure you have a good solid internet connection, then also updating your system. And if these three steps don't work, I recommend going and contacting Roku support further. I'll throw a link down to Roku support down in the video description. But to reset your device on your Roku remote, click the home button five times, the up button once, rewind twice, and then fast forward twice. And then it's gonna kinda run through the menu there and then pause for a little bit. And then during this process, uh, it'll maybe take about 30 seconds or so, and then your system will reboot. Another way you can do that if you don't wanna mess around with it on your remote is you can also just unplug the power source and then wait about 30 seconds or so and then plug it back in and that should also reboot your device. So once you go through a reboot for your system, maybe an application glitched out or froze or something like that, it'll fix a lot of those types of issues. But if that doesn't get the job done for what you need to fix your device or your TV, the next thing we're gonna try is checking out your internet connection. So go down to settings and then go click on network and then you should see the about connection here the signal strength you're gonna really want it to be in the good to excellent range if you have a weaker or a poor signal strength that could be your problem with playing video on your roku device and also you're going to want to make sure that status says connected if you're not connected to the internet that would also be another issue that you might run into but after you make sure that you're connected and that you have a good solid signal strength go down to the check connection and make sure that you get the two check marks there for the wireless connection and the internet connection and making sure that everything is successful in that sense so once you make sure you have a good quality internet connection the next thing that we're going to try if those two things don't work to fix all of your issues is go again go to the settings go down to system and then go down to where it says system update at this point, you just go ahead and click on system update, and this will make sure you have all the most recent software. Perhaps there was some bug fixes that needed to go through, and that might be some issues that you run into. So once you make sure you have the most up-to-date software, uh, once you click the check, and then just to make sure that you have the software, you're going to go ahead and download the most recent software. This process might take a little bit of time depending on how fast your internet is, so I'm going to skip ahead to the uh, software update being complete and then it's going to go ahead and restart your roku tv or your roku media player and make sure that it has the most up-to-date software for you already to go so once you go through these three steps and if you're still having problems again i recommend you go and contact roku support you can do this over on their website which i will link down in the video description you can also try to contact their support over on Twitter, which is a pretty effective means that I've found. Uh, but that's pretty much going to wrap up this video, guys. So I hope it was helpful. Subscribe for more, and I hope to see you back here for future videos. Bye.